In this video, we're going to walk through creating a short, and then we're going to buy that short, and then we're going to cover that short. So we're going to walk through the whole process of what you need to do to short an asset, and then what you and how all the mechanics work for covering that short. But first, um, I want to take a look at BitsharesBlocks.com, and there's just a couple things I want to point out on here. You can kind of take a look at assets, and we're going to look at the BitUSD asset. And the one thing I kind of like about this that um, it breaks out you can see all your buys and then you can see your um, you can see your shorts are in green and then your sell orders are people actually already own bit um, that actually this title is wrong it should say bit USD here but um, so these guys are selling um, bit USD so we've got the green are the shorts. Now one thing to point out is here is your price feed from all your delegates. Now a short um, has always has to be greater than this price feed. Whereas someone who actually owns the asset can sell it any price they, they want. So if someone actually owns the asset um, can sell below the price feed if they want to get rid of it. But for someone who wants to short the asset, which means essentially we're creating an asset um, and the collateral is being set by this market feed price or higher because from the bank's point of view you can add more collateral or you know basically if you if you set a higher price for your short you're essentially wait because it'll take the lower shorts first it'll essentially wait until the price market feed price gets up to your short that you set and then it'll you know basically you'll be in the running to be executed next uh, but just want to point that out, and you know, so essentially, your um, you know those, those kind of distinctions there. Uh, let's go look at the uh, since we're here, we'll take a look at the Bit BTC, see if there's anything interesting in this graph. Um, the market feed price is is right at uh, the order book, so uh, basically, it's got a lot less volume, so it looks a little odd. All right, but we'll, we'll flip right over to the actual BitShares client. So I've got my, um, this is my test account that we'll use to, to do this. Hopefully, hopefully I can execute this whole thing with 9.5 BTS. And as I, as I mentioned in the video, it's no longer BTSX. Everything is now consolidated into BTS, and they've made all those changes in the client here. Um, a little side note is actually the, um, and you know the GitHub accounts have all, also been changed. Where uh, BitShares is now the the main uh, client, so no no longer BTSX. It's BitShares is where you want to go. Okay, so let's go to the market. Let's go to uh, BitUSD, and let's take a look at the current spread. So right now uh, in BitUSD. There's actually people selling BitUSD lower than the price feed. So I won't really be able to use this one to, to uh, example because those people, in order to um, buy my own short with another account, I'll have to buy all the, these, these um, sells up to the price feed, which I don't want to do. So let's go back and let's take a look at the... Bit BTC, so Bitcoin uh, virtual bit asset here. Now the price feed is showing um, right at, so there's no cells below the price feed, so I should be able to use this. So let's go down and look at the open um, the open asset. So now he's at a interest rate of 0.11. So what, in order to make sure we win. Um, over this guy to be the first short that's executed we want to pay an interest rate higher than 0.11 so we'll go up here and the mechanics for shorting so first we'll just use our uh, we'll just use 8 BTS is our collateral and we'll pay 1% interest and we'll gonna, we're not going to set a price limit because we want to just sell right at the price feed and we'll go ahead and short this. So it's saying, please confirm your order. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. So it's pending. 
Um, okay, so now the pending, so it's been accepted into the blockchain. Uh, short sell. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, so now it's okay. So it's now we have an open. So this graph should have gone up by a smidgen because uh, eight uh, is not very much. But now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a different account, and you, you won't be able to see this on screen. But I'm actually going to buy. I'm going to go to BitBTC. And I am going to buy. <clears throat> okay, so I had to restart my BitShares client because I lost my Wi Fi earlier. But now I got it back up and I can see the um, short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to buy. So I'm just going to put in a regular buy order. And I'm going to buy 10 BTC worth um, or 10 BTS worth. Or what's the quantity we want to do? Triple O two one one two one. Okay, so we are going to buy. So I'm buying uh, basically four bit shares worth of bit BTC. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to confirm that. So now we sh I just hit confirm, so it's pending to go into the next block. And we'll see if we see it in the buy order list here. 21121, so that should be the buy order that I placed. And so it should match our short. So it's just notified my short has been filled. So now... Um, interesting. So we, you know, we bought at this, you know, at the current um, collateral. We put up twelve BTSX or BTS. I keep saying BTSX, but so twelve BTS is our collateral, which is worth two X the amount. But now, if we go into my account, go back to my accounts. Now we started with um, nine and a half. And a half of my uh, half went to uh, transaction fees, and eight went towards the short. So that leaves me with the one. So let's look at down here in the collateral. And remember, the first collateral amount, this eight, is what I put up in this account. So I could essentially receive one bit uh, bit BTC, or you know, at you know, a very small amount. But then I sold it. And the proceeds I got from that sell, you know, that it also says add collateral. So this is this is the two x I put up, and then this is the one x that got sent from the buyer. So essentially, there's 12, 12 BTSs, which is three times the value of the bit BTC that we essentially essentially brought into existence. However, let's go back to our um, let's go back to the market, let's go back to bit BTC, and go down to our margin order. So our call price, if, if you notice the, the current ask, this is the, the price essentially that it was executed at. Now if we take that price, 18.973, and we multiply that by 1.5, um, that gets a surprise. Actually, that's not right. So it's 37, 879. We'll just divide that by the current ask, which is 18, 973. And that gives us a 2x. Um, so essentially, the price has to double before our will get forced to uh, cover this. So and what that means is if it forced cover, it's going to use that collateral to buy back that bit BTC. And if it were if it's a forced cover, then um, in a forced cover scenario, we pay an additional 5% in fees of any additional leftover collateral. <clears throat> so if we hit this cover button, we'll say principal due. So 
we pay back our short in a bit BTC. Um, it doesn't care about how many BTS or it doesn't care about BTS or anything else. All it wants is this bit BTC back to the bank because this is essentially what we got loaned. Um, interest due, since it's been so little time, this is zero. Um, we do have to pay a, a transaction fee. Now you'll notice this is in bit BTC. We will actually pay it in BTSS, but it's showing us the value in bit BTC here. Um, total due. So this, this is our total amount that we need to have in bit BTC in order to cover this short. So what I want to do now is 29025. We want to go to our, um, because I bought this with a different account. I'm going to transfer that amount over to this account. So I'm going to go to my accounts here. We are going to Okay, so we just received a incoming transfer of 0 0.0034 Bitcoin or Bit Bitcoin. And the interesting um, thing to note is, you know, since we have to cover it in the asset itself, you know, I could go and buy the asset on the exchange, or I could, you know, buy it from a person over a message board, or it doesn't matter how I acquire the bit asset as long as I send back and cover my uh, short position. It doesn't matter how I retrieve that asset. So now in my balance, I have 0.0034 bit BTC, and that allows me to cover my short position because I essentially I I borrowed point you know triple O two one one two BTC from the bank that was loaned into existence. And as long as I pay that back, we're all good, and all the collateral that's tied up here will be released back to me. So let's see, I will hit cover. And it said it automatically fills in the payment amount. So I hit cover. And that's going to be pending until it hits the blockchain. And then, boom. So now, if I go back into my account, now I have 12.5 uh, BTS. And we, we essentially net new, because... I covered it from a different account, or I, I purchased the the short position from a different account. Um, I used, you know, I started with the the nine and a half. I created essentially four um, because I put up eight BTS in collateral, which created four um, Bitcoin in actual value of BTS, which I then bought and then transferred in. So that's how we kind of get to that twelve amount. So that, that all kind of makes sense from, from a total amount. And then I have some, some uh, remnants of BTC left over there. But go back to the market. Uh, go back to BitBTC. And um, so now my, you know, I don't have any open margin orders. <clears throat> so, um, you know, the, the only difference between uh, manually covering your own short position um, versus when uh, if it automatically hits your call price, it's going to use that collateral uh, to purchase whatever is in the cell, um, whatever's in the cell book to try and cover that position. And that's um, and then even if you have collateral left over, that's when it's going to take that five percent fee um, in terms of the the forced short position or the forced cover well that's it um, hopefully that was informational about how to uh, how to sh uh, create a short position and essentially loan a virtual asset into existence um, if you like this video please subscribe for more videos like this thanks again